Jambo, hello, welcome to today's lesson. This is Naomi. How are you? Are you okay? So I'm also fine. And today's lesson, we are going to learn about verbs that are specific to weather. Verbs that we can use while referring to weather. So we had learned about vocabularies on weather. And now today we are going to do some verbs. So, are you ready? Can we start? Okay, let's go. So, we learned that sun is jua. 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 So, when the sun is rising, when the sun is rising, we say kuchomoza. Kuchomoza. When the sun is rising, we say kuchomoza. So, we can say jua lina chomoza. Jua lina chomoza. The sun is rising. Jua lina chomoza. You can say jua kuchomoza kila asubuhi. Jua kuchomoza kila asubuhi. The sun rises every morning. The sun rises every morning. Jua kuchomoza kila Asubuhi. So, when you want to say the sun rises or the sun is rising or the sun will rise, you have to use the verb kuchomoza. 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 Okay. Let's go to the second verb. About the sun still. So, we can say kuwaka. Jua linawaka. The sun is shining. Jua linawaka. The sun is shining. Okay. Kuwaka is the same as the way fire lights. So, in terms of heat, this is in terms of heat. So, kuwaka is more of in terms of heat. Kuwaka. That's why moto, kuwaka, the fire, burns, yeah? It's, it's burns, yeah? Burns. So, that is in terms of heat. Kuwaka is in terms of the heat, yeah? Burning, yeah? The jua, linawaka. So, in terms of heat, then you can say jua lina angaza. Jua lina angaza. The sun is shining. The sun is shining. Jua lina angaza. So this angaza is in terms of light, like giving light. So mwanga is light. Mwanga is light. Mwangaza is like brightness. Mwangaza is brightness. So the word angaza comes from like giving light here, yeah? giving brightness. So, jua lina angaza from mwanga or mwangaza, yeah, brightness, yeah. Jua lina angaza. So, we have jua lina waka or jua lina angaza. Jua lina waka or jua lina angaza. Okay. Then, another verb is kutua or kuzama. Jua lina tua or jua lina zama. That is, the sun is setting. The sun is setting. So you can either use zama or tua. Kuzama or kutua. Both can be used to mean the sun is setting. Jua lina tua. The sun is setting. Or jua lina zama. The sun is setting. So you have two words you can use while expressing the setting part. Yeah? Okay. Let's go to another weather vocabulary so we have upepo upepo we said is wind wind so if we are talking about wind we will say upepo unavuma upepo unavuma upepo unavuma so the wind is blowing the wind is blowing upepo unavuma so you can say upepo mkali Unavuma. Upepo mkali unavuma. A strong wind is blowing. A strong wind is blowing. Upepo mkali unavuma. So the word kali is used to show like extent of, of something. For example, you can say upepo mkali means a strong wind. You can say juakali means like a very hot sun. Yeah? Juakali. 
So upepo mkali unavuma. A strong wind is blowing. Okay. Okay, we can also go to another verb. Kunyesha. Kunyesha. And kunyesha is only used with rain. Kunyesha is used with rain. So you can say mvua inanyesha. Mvua inanyesha. Mvua inanyesha. The rain is rainy. The rain is rainy. Mvua inanyesha. Mvua inanyesha. Or mvua ilinyesha. There it rained. Mvua ilinyesha. It rained. Mvua is rain. Then the verb is kunyesha. Mvua ilinyesha. It rained. Mvua inanyesha. It's raining. Mvua itanyesha. It will rain. Mvua inanyesha. Okay. Our last verb is about clouds. So we can say wingu lime tanda. Wingu lime tanda. The cloud has spread. Wingu lime tanda. Maybe it wants to rain and these are huge uh, clouds that have, have spread. So you can say wingu lime tanda. In plural you can say mawingu yame tanda. Mawingu yame tanda. Wingu lime tanda. Mawingu yame tanda. Mawingu yame tanda. So, there's a phrase that we usually say, Wingu la machonzi lime tanda. Like a sad cloud has spread. Wingu la machonzi lime tanda. Like a, a cloud of sadness has spread. Like it's heavy, it wants to rain. Wingu la machonzi lime tanda. Like there's so much sadness. So, you can say, Wingu la machonzi lime tanda. Or, Wingu la mzuni lime tanda. Like it's covered, it's heavy on people, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So, that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Kindly don't forget to subscribe, to like, to comment, to share. And see you in our next class. Kwaheli!